So now in this video we're going to go over another simple circuit uh, as quickly as possible and this one has a couple LEDs. So LEDs are a type of diode. They only conduct current in one direction and so they need a voltage built up across them. The anode needs to be more positive than the cathode because they're diodes. This is a diode schematic symbol. LED stands for light emitting diode. So that's the diode schematic symbol right there. The two arrows coming out of it indicate that it's an LED right there. So that side's the anode, that side's the cathode. The anode needs to be more positive than the cathode by about three volts for the Zener, uh, the green LED, I mean. The uh, red LED, the anode needs to be more positive than the cathode by about two volts. Takes a little less voltage before it will start conducting. But in any case, we're gonna use my power supply set to five volts. So we'll consider the red alligator clip five volts. We'll consider the black alligator clip as uh, zero volts. So there'll be a five volt difference. But sometimes the five volts will be there, the zero volts there. Sometimes the five volts will be there and the zero volts there. When this side's more positive, the green LED will light up. When that's the more positive side, the red alligator clip, the red LED will light up. That's the main takeaway. So here we are at the uh, breadboard. We'll take the resistor and we're not gonna use the power rails right there. We're just gonna put the two sides of the resistors onto two separate rows. So it goes five holes across. That's a connection five across right there and then five across up there. They're separate rows. We're gonna take the green LED. Doesn't matter which side on the same row that we put this, but we want the long lead, the anode. We have not cut the leads of this LED. The long lead's the anode, short lead is the cathode. Short lead also has a, a flat edge right there that you may have been able to see, but uh, it's not terribly important. So in any case, we're gonna put the long lead, the anode to the resistor. That's the main takeaway. We want the red LED the opposite direction. We're gonna put the short lead, the cathode, to where the resistor is. Long lead, the anode, we're gonna put farther down, one row down. So the uh, anode of the red LED is to the cathode of the green LED. So now we're gonna zoom back. Power supply is already to five volts, and that means I set the current to no more than 20 milliamps of current. It will drop voltage as needed to keep that to 20 milliamps or less. That's to protect the LEDs if I do something wrong. And uh, so, we will unclip this. First, let's do the more natural position where the uh, resistor is on the more positive side of the power supply than the LEDs. And there you can see the green LED lit up. I just touched the cathode right there of the green LED. If I touch the anode of the red LED, the green LED still lights up. Currents flowing around the red LED through the green LED like that because of the directions they are. The LEDs have polarity. Now we'll put the black alligator clip directly to the resistor there. Doesn't matter if we touch the anode of the red LED or the cathode of the green LED. We have the same situation electrically. The current flows through the red LED around the uh, green LED because of the direction of the power supply right there. So in any case, it's a simple circuit, but uh, it's a nice one if you're just starting out because it helps you understand electricity a lot better. And, uh, and diodes in general. LEDs are a type of diode. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I put a link down in the description. That would help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.